So the next step I did was I put my white paper inside uh, the box for the album. So, and then I am going to make uh, the album so I know that it will fit. So let's see. I think I am going to use the hinges for this one. Um, let's check. So let's start <coughs> with making the little album. <coughs> Sorry, a little fork <coughs> gets into my throat. Now, I going to use for the very very first time the the how you call this the artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. It's the first time that I'm going to use it, so I'm curious. I heard so much about it, so let's give it a try. And normally I never use paper for use of um, putting the album together. So it's the first time ever. So I am really excited about it. Let's see. Do I need... Yeah, I don't need it all, but is this nicer in the middle? Mm. It does not matter. I just cut it here. <coughs> Let's see what we're going to do. Yes, we are going to use tape. Now this is the part that I don't use to because normally I use tape. So this is a bit odd for me but but okay. It's okay. Now it's also going to be the first time to use this glue. So I'm really excited to use it all. Now this is the first part. And Still using both tape and glue. Now the nozzle I really like. Gives really nice thin parts of glue. piece of chipboard. Now this chipboard is not particularly thick but I did that on purpose because this album is not going to be very thick. It's just a small album for putting 10 by 15 centimeters photos. So I don't need that much of Alrighty. Now, this is the first part. That's step one. 
now for the next part I will cut an angle like that and I like to cut it like this just leave a little angle left to the corner just a little just one two millimeter is enough to get a nice edge yes alrighty now I put tape on this part and here now I first fold it now I give it a push and then fold all the way around it so the fold line is already ready to go now I peel off my tape, put some extra glue on, especially here on the edges, and fold it on place. Yes, now I'll do the other side, give it a push. Fold it back and peel off the tape. Do the same thing on this side. And on this. Fold it. Peel it off. Yeah, alrighty. So this is it. And I really get get to be careful for the white paper. But okay, it's nice. Now gentle fold. And the other one, just be gentle. This is it, guys. Yeah, I like it, and it never, it does not crack anywhere. I like it. It's very neat. Yeah, it's really my first time that I do paper for the cover. I think it's neat. Wow. Yes. 
I like it. Like it, like it. Now, let me see if it fits. Oh, yeah, it fits. Yes, it does. And it does not matter that we have some edges around it because we're going to put some paper on. So, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Like it, like it, like it. Alrighty. So, up to the next step. Let's see, the next step, what I did was I made a piece of chipboard and the measurements are going to be in the description box and this is going to be on top and so it will fit later on and that is going to be the closure for the top. So I think we are ready to do some um, decoration for now. And then we go make the... Yeah, you call this one in, in English? I don't know. But um, yeah, I think we are ready to do some decoration with the paper. So. Stay tuned and let me cut this nice paper. Let's see what did I first. I first covered the outside of the quip. And this part don't need because it's going to glue on that one. The inside I just wait for a minute because I going to do with it in a minute. And um, for the bottom or for the um, the bottom of it I choose the the simplest and colorless uh, paper that I could find with this uh, in this kit so when the reason why I did that in a minute we are going to glue this all together and when we are going to put the wheels on like this then in the first object you see that this is going top and this is not that very bright of a color so when this standing on a dresser or a commode of your baby room then in the first minute you don't see that something is under underneath the wagon so that's the reason why I choose the easiest the colorless paper from this kit and so that's that's how far I got and this these wheels I um, cut out for just a small chipboard and I used I used what I had in my stash and I used a die for it and I used this die it I believe it's the same yeah this one is coming in here so you do you so you have a little doily underground and then for the middle I use this one and I thought it was perfect because you have the cutter parts so you don't have to cut it all by yourself and I think it's very cute because the wheels are just decorative function and I think I like it and I do like the colors with it so yeah I think it's perfect. What do you think? But we'll glue it later on. So let's see. Now the reason why I don't uh, put my design paper in the middle is because I have something cut out and I used this set from the bow bunny set and then I used this large one and I cut it from the chipboard and I cut it four times so I glued two together and I think I just cut one more so I can glue it on or on either side I think I think yes I think I'm going to do that but where I am going to use it for if you are putting this 
just about here then you have yes 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 you think with me you have the handle so this on the other side and then you have the handle so I think I'm going to use a bread for it and that's the reason why I just wait just a minute to put my design paper in so I don't want to do that I put I'm picking some um, design paper or just white mm, white is also nice I pick and then I come back to you when I finished and put a bread in it get back later let's see how far I am um, I put my design paper on the box and I put some tape on this one on the top and then the outside of um, the crib I also decorate and the inside also but uh, not the sides just not yet because we are going to attach a bow over it so first I am going to attach these two parts to each other so I get an eye on how it it's going to be so I use my hot glue and that's very tricky because uh, you need you need to go you need to do it fast otherwise you, you can't uh, move it around but I do like the hot glue because it's 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 very good attached to each other so so let's do that now I think it's hot enough yeah so what I do is I make sure everything is on the right side yes so I just can flip it over so I quickly as I can do some hot glue and then flip it over and place it on top and do this as quick as you can so it's settled and when I'm satisfied I slightly push the glue onto the box yeah alrighty yep like it this here is the opening and here comes our bow yeah already now I have made my wheels already and I thought I had mentioned it for the dies yeah I have and if you want you can glue them already on because the rest of this is not going any use let's see how far I like it to be just a little over the edge I believe yes just a little over this edge so yeah I think we can just move it in the right direction and then place it well, I think we can do that already let's search for a new one if I needed one because this one is not very full so place it over the edge and give it a push yeah that's the first one 
and the second one again just a little over the edge just a little bending Just a little over the edge, make sure you're not coming below this box. And the last one. You see it's coming to to have a function. Yes. Yes. Like it. I like it. I like it. Yes. Let's see, what do we need the glue more for? Hmm. Yeah, we need to lay a bit later because these I already painted white, but I think it's not ready yet. Let me see. So this is coming just a little over. We are not going to do this right now. But this is the meaning. This is coming to be the handle. And then we make a handle. But we can do this later. So I put my hot gun away and I think we first made the bow for this one. Yes. Now we are going to make the bow and this is how it should look like but now you because I always try so this is the side for the bow and then the other side and this is going to be attached to our quid. So what I am going to do is let's see let's cut a 12 by 12 paper at 10 inch. And then I score, and let's see, I turn it around, so I have the 12 by 12 length, the 12 by 10 length, but I need the 12 length to score at 3, 3, 4, 3, 3, 4, and um, let's pick 8, 1, 4. Eight one four. Now this is the size. This one is the size of this quip. The yes. Now let's put this away and grab a ruler. I like to go to the inside. Now first make the fold line ready and do this in the same way on this part. Oh, and before I forgot, I like to use um, this at the bottom and the top. So this is the top. So this is I'm going to line it up with my Martha Stewart punch 
and then I go all the way around so I give a nice attach around so I see better. Move it around. Let's see. Here it is. Yes. Now the next thing is wait just a minute. The next thing I am going to draw my lines on the inside so you don't have to see the lines from the outside. Now I want to make one inch each so I line it up. And I give little marks where I am going to cut it. Yeah, and I do the same thing on the bottom. So I can make straight lines. Yeah. Now I grab my... Um, just wait for a minute. I grab my crocodile and then I make sure I make little holes on each inch. I hope you see it. Just eyeball the middle and make a hole. Yes, and now I can cut my cutting and my knife and then I going I am going to cut every inch from the fold line to the bottom. One. Yeah. Now turn it around, and here I just make a little um, smoochy for my uh, 
my inked pad, but that's okay. That's the inside. So let's mark again every inch. And on the bottom also. <laughs> and we can cut again. Yeah. Every inch from the fold line to the bottom. finished. Now you can, if you like, do a little decoration. Now for me I just make sure that this still looks a little vintage so I just use my distress ink. Then I think I do a little, um, I grab some paper to cover the top of the roof. I think I do for this one here on top. So let's decide what paper I'm going to use. Now the next thing, I just did a little creation on the top. I hope I did not overdo it, but I used the die. Let's see, where is it? Where is the big die from Go Bunny that came with the kit? This one, the Bo Bunny, this really large one. And I cut it out and I glue it on a one inch strip of paper and I just do it on top and you, you see it, it looks like lace, I really like it and yes. So now the next thing is I created a hole in here and I decided I make it just, just about two inches and one inch high so just about it's my first time so I do not know if it works but I hope it does. Now the meaning of this one is just layer. Now I like to use the pin because it's easier for me and just over top, over top and then grab each hole over top, over top So we're overlapping each stripe and just in the last hole and now you can just put all in one, see, like this and then grab, I just made this one, I grab Bread, push it in and then push it to all the holes. Now I hope I can manage. Yeah. Now I hope my pin is large enough. Yeah, I think it does. Do <laughs> I? 
<laughs> okay. My daughter has left the building. <laughs> and then we push it in this hole. Oh, I missed one. Oh. So we'll stay together. Yes, and then we go in this hole. Let's search the hole. Yes, now we are going to make lay this flat so you can push the bread really good open and then attach it really 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 well and that's the first one yeah how fun is this now we go to the other side and do the same thing so I use my picker Oh, this one is not quite cut all the way. Yeah, now gentle and go on every single piece. Just a few. And the last one. Where it is, where it is, where it is. Yes, there it is. Yeah, no. Where my decorative piece of paper. Push it in. No. Push to all the holes. Hope I manage them all because they shovel really fast away. Yes, I have them. Now again, push it to the hole like that, laying it flat. Then I want to. So I can manage. Now this you don't see, but you can imagine what I am doing. I opening the legs from the bread and I push it. Yeah. So this is how it's going to look like. I think it's lovely. Yeah, this is the side of it. And this is the other side. And now you still can move this all the way around if you like. But I think this position is the right way. Yeah. Oh wow! I like it! <laughs> yeah, and at the end I can attach more lace if I want. What do you think? What do you think? I like it. Yes. For the very first time, it's pretty amazing. This is the front, how it looks like. Yeah, so now we can attach the inner parts. Let's see, I just managed them already. So I did that before, so I can make sure I have the right, the right size of papers, but I did not glue it inside already because I want to cover up the wet. So let's put some glue on. If I want I can lay it on the side so I can see what I am doing. Yeah. Yes, now pick the other side, put some glue on. Yes. to 
okay. Ta-da! And the inner side is ready. How cool is this? I really like it. Yes, 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 yes. Now, let's see for the next thing. Yes, the next thing, I think I am going to make my Dexo. Dexel is a Dutch word, but let's see how I am going to manage this, because if I push it deeper, then it will get stuck, but that is what we want, so let's see, because we want to use the inside of the box also. Try something out. Let's see what is necessary. It just might be a little lower, but then we don't have enough space. And this is going to be on top here. Like this, or like this. Like this. So this is not going in the way. No, it isn't. Just want to check. So yeah, let's be creative and think of this one and how I cover it up and how I make it uh, how you call it? Dexel. Dexel is Dutch a lid? I really don't know but let's give it a try keep tuned okay let's see I was busy with the lid to make it a bed so what I did is I grabbed some tissue let me see on the back. It's just tissue, not cotton. It's just tissue what I um, put in. And this is, yeah, uh, <coughs> I got, um, it's, it's tablecloth, like uh, the album with the uh, lady's diary. I used this for the cover and I did not have any uh, fabric in the house and I did not want to shop today so I thought this was also lovely with this uh, pearl white shiver and <laughs> I just put some tissue in it uh, like a blanket and I sew it all around and I just make with hot glue this lace so it looks like a blanket now I this I am going to glue it just on so yeah I think it's lovely I made the pillow uh, the same way and I did glue it all the way down so yeah let's do this one too let's see yep now be quick, otherwise the glue is already dry before you have glue it on. And give it a push and then the blanket is settled. And because I did not uh, sew it all around closed, the tissue will keep popping up. You see? It really is. You can push it back in, but it's still like, you see? Now I get a phone call. Let's get back to you in a minute. 
<laughs> okay, what I'm now going to do, I got just one shot to do it white, otherwise I completely must make a new bat. So <laughs> I made two holes in it. Yeah, two holes with my big crocodile. And I made two angels out of beads. And these two are going to be in these two knots. So I get a handle to pick off the, the lid. But it looks like two angels sitting on the bed. <clears throat> I hope so. <laughs> so wish me luck. I think I'm going to use um, some iron wire and the hot glue to put it real good in place. So wish me luck. I do this off camera because otherwise I get really nervous. <laughs> Till then. <laughs> Do you want to have a good laugh? I'm trying to make a nice handle and I just used um, this wooden stick and I just wrap paper around it from the kit and now I am putting pearls around it. And it's, it's getting there but... I hope you, I just want to show you how easy this goes. And I think with this wagon it fits perfectly. How fun this is. <laughs> I just want to show you real quick how I am doing this. So you just wrap it around. Oh my god, I really like it. Now I see, I did mark and I did mark it. Let's see how far I go. I lose my mark. So up, I make another one. Yep, yeah, till there. And then I stop for the pearls. How fun is this? Now I stop. I really like it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I like it. I like it. So. Think. Just. Now let's see what I will do with the ends. The ends. I like it. It's going to be fabulous. 